welcome. Today I am going to unbox and review In Control Aaron Salston, part of the New Face Convention Collection from the 2020 Integrity Toys 25th Anniversary Convention Legendary. Now, I'm really curious about opening this box today because this is one of the ones when I saw the promo pictures, I thought this could go either way. I'm either going to like her a lot or I'm just gonna like the outfit. I knew I loved the shoes, but everything else I was on the fence about. So I'm seri super curious about opening her and seeing what my reaction is. So let's do it. This is In Control, Erin Salston, Dress Doll. She's the New Face Convention Collection 2020 Integrity Toys 25th Anniversary convention legacy doll so let's take a look and see what she looks like get her out of this shipper here and of course i'm always imp so impressed with this you're gonna hear me say this all the time because i really am how they get that tissue paper in there also nice and neatly and i appreciate it because it really does protect the box so anyway let's get this out See if I can do this Christian lot. Well, I don't know how, but never mind. I'll get it out. <laughs> so anyway, so here's this lovely reflective box that Alon uh, designed here. It's really pretty, but I can't wait. I need to see what Aaron looks like. So here she is. Let's see if I can get a closer look at her. And this is just an overall look at Erin in the coat. And of course, she comes with the box of goodies and looks like a pair of shoes. And let's see if I can get just a little bit closer on her face. Excuse me. Very pretty doll. Very vibrant. And I like... The collars, I want to see what that collar blouse looks like underneath there. And I'm curious about the sleeves on this coat. And it looks like she comes with pantyhose. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get her, I'm going to stop being curious and I'm going to just get her out of this box and see what she looks like in greater detail, including her outfit. So this is a close-up of In Control, Aaron Salston. This is the Aaron 2.0 sculpt, which I absolutely love. And let's just take a side profile of her. Now the skin tone listed for this doll is Japan, and the hair color is listed as Fiery Auburn. She's a limited edition of 600 and 60 dolls worldwide. So this is the close-up of her face. And let's get this hairnet off because I want to really get a full impact of what she looks like. Look like she's got this really beautiful curl down there. That's beautiful. And let's see what she looks like. She's actually really pretty. And let's see what else did she come with. Let's take a closer look at this outfit. Now, one of the things that I was curious about is what is underneath this coat? I know I see some fishnets here, but what else does she have going on under here? Well, let's find out. Let's see. So she's got this long, really long um, strap here for this belt, but it looks like it's functional, which is cool. So I am going to see if I can get this loosened. And open up her coat. Oh no, wait, there is some sort of latch here. So, oh, that's, I guess, to keep it more, you know, secure and snug. So that's the little latch. You can open here. And guess what? Ah, ha, ha, ha. There is another latch. So let's get this latch off. And then we can see the full effect of the blouse here and this collar, which I absolutely love. And this sheer blouse 
but it's not like obscenely sheer. And let's see, you know, I want to get this coat off of her now. So let's, um, she comes of course with her new face tag because she's part of the new face collection. And let's see, I want to get this off of her. I'm going to remove her hands so that I can get the coat off a little bit easier without it getting caught on anything. It's, those of you who are redressers know that these nails can snag into something and mess your outfit up. It's not fun. It's not pretty. So I'm so glad now that we can do this. Let's get this off because I want to see a few things. So it looks like it is a long sleeve blouse, not a short sleeve blouse like I thought it might be. And it's got the little half top well not even a half it's just kind of crop top i guess and you know what i'm gonna get this hand off also so with the hand you just do a little twist and you'll get it out if it doesn't feel right don't do it so you just pull until you it feels like okay i got this out of here look there you go so i'm gonna put that down and get this coat off. I do love this satiny skirt here. And if you can see the construction detail here with the stitching, really nice and fitted very well. And of course, I love the fishnet and it's got the little protective plastic thing so that it will protect her knees so that she, in case she gets jostled in her box, She'll be okay. And of course, a high heeled foot. And of course, this is the New Face 3.0 body, which is standard now for the New Face dolls. So I'm going to pull out just a little bit. I want to take a little bit of a closer look at her coat. I'm very curious about it. So as you see, it's got the IT label and it is fully lined. Inside, it's got this fur coat detail, feels really, really nice. I wanted to know about the sleeves. So this is attached. Sometimes some coats come with the detachable sleeve option. This does not have it. Um, and let's see, and of course it's got the loops back here for the belt, which I think are really cool. And if you look at the stitching, for this jacket, they really did a great job on Gilly really getting the detail in there. But guess what? This doll comes with several other things. She also comes, one of the things I was excited about with this doll is her purse. Look at that. This is super Ready. Does it open? It opens. Look at that. So you can store any little thing or Erin, you know, she's a party girl. No telling what she'll, she's going to put her lipstick in there. That's what she's going to do in her flask of liquor. <laughs> That's what she's going to put in there. This is a really pretty piece though. And it's like a real, feels like real metal. And I, look, does it have, is that a magnet thing? Yeah, it's got the magnet pull. How cool. Very cool. So, in addition to that, she does come with some jewelry. And looks like it's a pair of earrings. And I think it's a ring. Yeah, it looks like it's some sort of ring. So, this is... And these are, like, nice, beautiful stones here. In addition to that, one of the things I was really excited about, I'm not going to lie, about this doll was her shoes. As soon as I saw the shoes, I was like, okay, I don't care anything else about the doll, the outfit, these shoes, I have to buy this doll. So I absolutely love them. It's got this little buckle thing. I'm curious to see, is it a working buckle? Or just the shoe, the uh, foot just slide in there. So I am curious to see. But yeah, I'm super excited about this pair of shoes. 
also the doll comes with a like pleather hat and it looks like it's one of those bunchy ones it's fully lined inside so you probably shouldn't have to worry about staining and of course it comes with the little needle so that you can keep the hat in place um, if you're going to um, put your dolls up on display or anything like that. Anywho, in addition to that, she also comes with the pair of grip hands. And I always love the grip hands. So they can grab things, she can grab her drink, her purse, or whatever. Um, I love those. And of course, she comes with the standard stand that came with all the convention dolls. There you go, it's got Agnes on it. And of course, the rod that goes right into here so that, Ag I'm sorry, Agnes. So that Erin, I've got Agnes on the brain looking at her right here. And I think that's part of the subliminal uh, programming that's going on. It's like Agnes, Agnes, Agnes. So you might hear me say that quite a bit. If you do, uh, it's the liquor or it's the the programming that's happening. But anyway, so this is for Aaron to stand on. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I am going to put the jewelry and stuff on Aaron to just to get a full look of what she looks like, fully clad in her glory, and also introduce her to our panel to see what they have to say about this doll and about this outfit. All right, I'd like to welcome our panel. First, we have best friends and new faced models, Nadja Rhymes and Erin Salston. And of course, we have actress, singer, model, Alyssa Rodriguez. Now, wait, wait, hold on, audience, hold on, hold on. Now, wait a minute. Now, I noticed that the new face best friends here are not looking very happy. What's going on? Alyssa, what are you up to? You, what, what's, you said that you two are the original face sculpt for Aaron, which is the doll that is here. This is the Aaron 2.0. And uh, you two are not happy about being replaced with the 2.0. Well, ladies, we can't let that personal stuff get in the way of our review okay we got that all right so let's do a 360 of in control aaron's outfit and i'm just gonna do a far away just so you can see it and then of course let's go in close that we can see that hat jewelry the face sculpt the screening the details in the coat of course that beautiful purse pantyhose and of course those really super cute shoes there oh, look like it's coming out of her shoes there <laughs> I'll have to fix that later and of course all that is Aaron so I'd like to ask our Aaron and Nadja pals here what are your thoughts ladies you say that you think that the outfit is really cool and you would love to wear it and what are your thoughts on the model? Uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to use that language, ladies. Sorry about that. Alyssa, your thoughts? You said that although you cannot fit this, you would actually be willing to put yourself on an industry body in order to fit your body into this outfit. The pieces. Very cool. And what are your thoughts on this Aaron doll? You said she's lovely. I'm not sure how to take that, Melissa. But anyway, thank you so much, panel, for everything. Thank you. Thank you, Shady Bunch. So I have mixed feelings when it comes to in control Aaron Salston. You know, usually I love a lot of things. With this doll, I like the doll. 
I think she's really pretty. I don't know if she can stay here. Maybe she might be getting sold to another household. She might say I still see potential, but I don't absolutely love her. I feel like I have better errands, but that's just my own opinion. Doesn't mean she's not lovely. Actually, I think she's very pretty, so that's not set in stone. She actually might stay. Um, also, her outfit together, it's okay, but the separate pieces individually, I absolutely love, and I can see myself incorporating this into other outfits. So that's my review on In Control, Aaron Salston. If you liked this video, then please click the like button and also click the subscribe so that you get updates on when I send out new videos like this one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.